Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today I wanted to do a little video for my 2100 trophies and a little farming guide up at this level. I've been kind of just relaxing and searching more bases and waiting for the ones that have more gold and more elixir. It's been working out, as you guys can see. I'm, I've actually gone way up with my um, gold and elixir. I can finally afford to get my archer towers upgraded over there. And I also wanted to show you guys a new little glitch. Um, so check this out. You, I already showed you the one where you could put stuff outside the map. But now you can put stuff like in it, like this gold mine. If you place it, let's say, right here. You click collect while you still have your finger on the gold mine. And you can place it right there. It's as easy as that. Um, so, like, it's, it's a kind of a different take on the other glitch. It's kind of like a little uh, change in it, I guess you could say. So I could place this gold mine right here. here. I can turn my town hall over here into a ah, gold mine if I wanted to. I'm messing up for some reason. So collect, let go. Ha! Look at that. My little town hall turned into a gold mine. Other players cannot see this, and of course, as soon as you move the gold mine, it's back over there. It's just a graphical glitch that only you can see, but it's still pretty cool. So you grab this gold mine. You can fully interact with it here, but the coins pop up over here, as you can see. So it's just a cool little graphical thing if you want to mess around with your base. Uh, but I thought that was pretty interesting because I was just messing around with it and found out you could do that. You could do that with any interface too. You could do it with the uh, guard, stuff like that. Sleep, guard, sleep. Oh, I haven't tried that. Yeah, see, you can do it with the Barbarian King spot too. Which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Um, so any open interface will do that. Um, but yeah, that's a cool little glitch I thought you guys would, would see. Um, but for now, let's go with 2100 trophies and a nice attack uh we may spend a little bit more time searching um ooh, we might have got a good one our first base uh nah i'm looking for ones that have all their golden elixir on the outside of the base inside their collectors instead of having to go all the way in And that's something like I'm really bad at normally. I'm normally not patient at all. I'll just attack the first base that looks decent. But yeah, this is a good way to farm up at these levels. You just look for these bases for people who haven't been on in a while. And as you can tell, this guy's probably got all of his stuff in the inside. His collectors don't really have much. But his resources are all in the middle and his gold torches are pretty full. Um, so I wouldn't recommend attacking this guy. And his base is pretty good, not to mention. Um, so let's go move on to the next one. Alright, let's see what this guy's working with. Yeah, he's got a pretty good defense setup. My 200 archers aren't really going to do much on that. Earlier today, I found one with 400,000 gold and elixir. I did not record it, but I got about 350,000 of it just using these archers. So if you guys are patient and keep searching, you will find those bases that have what you're looking for. All oh, this guy's stuff's in the middle. And I've noticed as I get higher up in trophy count, the amount of resources get a lot, a lot higher. Like, look at this, 233,000. Let's see, does this guy have his stuff on the outside? No, he's definitely got it in the middle. Because you'll find those rare bases for the people who haven't been on in three days and their shield just disappears. And they have tons of stuff. You've seen those videos of all those 1.3 million raids and stuff like that. Yeah, and I've o I always get this number a lot. 198,000, that's an odd number, and I always get it. And you can tell this guy's stuff is in the storage, okay, because... Uh, you can see all the coins in there. Alright, this guy's got all the stuff in his storage as well. But another 200,000 plus base. It's amazing. Okay, 258,000. Okay. Um, he's got level 11 storages, so I think 
he might have some in there. Yeah, he's got a coin popping up there. His containers don't really look full. Um, next. That's the thing, though. When they have level 11 el elixirs, you can never tell the elixir collectors. Sometimes they could have it. If you see any purple liquid on that level 11 collector, though, you know there's going to be some uh, elixir in there, or a lot of it. Sorry, guys. The search is taking longer than normal, but this is what I've been doing to try to get my trophies up. Oh, look. This guy's got his elixir thing on the outside. Um, yeah. So we're going to attack this guy right here. Um, so we'll do it. One, one... Oh no, giant bomb! Uh oh. Come on, get it. That's gone. Get that air defense. Right, I'm gonna have to pick one thing to attack. Oh uh, god. Guess I'm gonna have to go for these two. Uh, that mortar's gonna get me. Um, come on, baby. Come on. Yes, there's 50%. All right, so that should be 2,100 trophies. Plus, we got a good amount of elixir, I believe. Let's see how much we got. Oh, you guys are dead. Why even try? Why even bother? 55,000 elixir, and plus the 13,000, so 68,000. Uh, and I got perfect amount of, perfect amount of trophies. There's 2,100 trophies, guys. Sorry, that wasn't one of my better archer runs, but I've been doing these archer runs and profiting a lot. Um, I'm up to a million elixir with it, and it does, I think that's from like five or six attacks. So, um, very cheap and cost effective. I'm spending about 60,000 elixir on each attack. I definitely want to be able to get 220 troops. That's my next goal. As soon as I have 2.25 million, I will be upgrading this army camp. Except I'm not going to like the fact that I have to wait five days for it to be upgraded. It's really going to make me impatient. I'll probably end up gemming just the time. Um, but I will work really, really hard to get all these upgraded for you guys. So my attacks are more um, full of troops and stuff like that, so our, our attacks can be better. Oh, look at my generous clan over here. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a little little guide, I guess, on what you guys can do. Um, definitely still recommend attacking with 200 of the same type of troops, either barbarians or archers, but, 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 but be patient on the search. Don't rush it. Pick a base you know you can get 50% on, have your spells on backup, and have your um, Barbarian King ready. Um, I've made a little bit of progress on my base, you guys. I've had these four walls upgraded, and then I had a couple over here upgraded as well. Um, I'm still working on that. I cannot wait. I'm super excited to get rid of these stupid purple level 6 walls. And I have this Archer Tower upgrading, and you can bet this one's next. Um... Trying to get those upgraded as quickly as I can. This wizard's tower also needs to be upgraded. I will probably end up maxing that out uh, shortly. And I'm going to focus on my cannons after that. Expos, I think, are going to be last. They're not really cost effective to upgrade for just the 25 extra damage per second. So that's pretty much what I've been up to, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video in the comments down below. And like, comment, subscribe, and you guys take it easy.